viewers, we continue with our financial reporting revisions. Now let's go to our today's question. Today we are going to continue with our question from uh, financial reporting ACCA March June 2019 same questions. Our question was uh, Vernon Co. Question 32. Let's quickly go there. Our question 32 Vernon Co. Previously we uh, answered uh, part A required to produce a statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. Now we are going to answer part B the calculation of the earnings per share for Venon Co for the year ended 31 December 20x8 for 5 marks. So if you haven't watched um, part 1 of this video for Venon Co, I encourage you to pause this video now and go and watch part 1 Venon Co, then you come to part 2. So now we ended up saying the last note, note number 7, is the one that allows us to be able to calculate the earnings per share. So note number seven says, at 1 January 20x8, Venon Co. had $30 million $1 equity shares in issue. On 1 April 20x8, Venon Co. issued an additional $5 million $1 equity shares at full market value. On 1 July 20x8, Venon Co. performed a two for five rights issue at $2.40 per share. The market value of Venon Co. on 1 July 20x8 was $3.10 per share. Now calculate the earnings per share for Venon Co. for the year ended 31 December 20x8. To calculate the earnings per share, we need to know the formula for calculating the earnings per share. Of which the formula is the earnings over earnings attributable to the ordinary shareholders over the number of ordinary shares or the weighted number of ordinary shares. What frequently is known as one loss. Now let us go to our working template. Previously, we had uh, completed the statement of uh, profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And here, which profit should you take? Should you take the profit for the year or the total comprehensive income? I would say you should tot every time take the profit for the year attributable to the ordinary shareholders. So you take the profit for the year, not the total comprehensive income as the gain on revaluation is a non-distributable reserve. So you take the profit for the year. Then you divide it with the number of shares. Now the trick was how to calculate the number of shares on this paragraph. Now we are told that uh, on 1 January 20x8, Venon Co. had 30 million $1 equity shares in issue. Now we come to our working here, earnings per share, we simply say 1 January 20x8. How much were the shares? They were 30 million. They were 30 million, right? On 1 April, Venon Co. issued an additional 5 million. So if the at the beginning of the year, the shares were 30 million, and on 1 April, 5 million were issued. So the total shares on 1 April 20, X8 should be 5 million plus 30. So it should be 35 million. So we we'll come here and say 1 April 20x8 
we have got the 30 million shares plus what was issued is 5 million. We now have got 35 million shares. Let's continue reading. On 1 July 2018, Venon performed a two performed a two for five rights issue at two dollars four cents. So what it means is Venon Co issued two new shares for every five shares that were held. So let's go there. That was 1 July 20x8. We say here 1 July 20x8. The shares already in 1 July were 35 million. So the Venon Co issued 2 out of 5. So we we'll say 35 multiplied by 2 divided by 5. So Venon Co issued 14,000 shares. Then cumulatively, if Venon Co, let me pause, then if Venon Co has issued 14,000, so in this state, there were 14,000 new shares rights issued plus the original 35. So how many shares with, was that? It should be 14 plus the 35. So now the cumulative is now 49 million shares. Right, let's go back then. They were issued at a cost of $2.40, 40 cents, whereas the market value was $3.10. We should know that the rights issue, it's simply an approximation of a bonus issue plus a full market price issue merged together. So when issuing a rights issue, it seems, it means you, some, some shares will be issued at full cost and some at free cost as a bonus. So rolled together. So we are simply saying it's um, a combination of a bonus issue and a full market price issue. So by that we need to calculate the theoretical X rights price. So let's go there. We said originally they were five shares and two new shares were issued from the five as the right issue. The market value $3.10 for each share and the right price was $2.40 like that. So we simply say we multiply. So we see now each shareholder now has got a portfolio of seven shares and the seven shares are now worth $20.30. Before the issue of the rights issue, each shareholder had a portfolio of five shares worth each $3.10 of which the portfolio, total worth of the portfolio was $15.50. Now we average, that is the theoretical X rice price. The average now we were simply saying the total worth of the portfolio divided by the number of shares. Now it seems as if one shareholder, one share is now worth um, $2.90 in the portfolio. If we have calculated our theoretical X rice price, now we are good to come and calculate our weighted average number of shares. We start with the market price we divide the market price with our theoretical 
x right price like that then let's go back to our question what at the beginning one january venon co had 30 million shares before issuing 5 million so we will count january february march that's three months before another issue so we'll simply say here three out of 12 like that then what we do here we will say 30,000 multiplied by the market price divided by the theoretical x rise price then we apportion that is 3 twelfths of a year like that we get that then let's go back on 1 april venon co issued shares issued an additional 5 million shares of one dollar at full market price so now we we'll count from april may june because the rights issue was issued in one july so it's another three months so we'll come here and say three out of 12. we'll say our 35 because the cumulative value is now 35 we multiply by 3.5 we divide by the theoretical x price we multiply by 3 we divide by 12 we get that then now 1 july up to 31 de december we say july after september october november december that's six months so a portion by six months here we are not going to multiply by this factor which is the market price of a theoretical x rise price why were we multiplying by this because we wanted to add the bonus element in the previous uh, issues so here we only simply say 49 multiplied by 6 divided by 12 we get that then we sum up that to get our weighted average number of shares. Now we need our earnings, of which I have explained our earnings were 12,845, all in thousands like that. So this way in thousands. So we we'll simply come here and say our 12,845, we multiply by 1,000 because they were in thousands here then we get 12 million 845 then now our earnings per share becomes our earnings divided by the number of shares we get 0 0.307 dollars this was the solution that was required from us now do please do practice a lot of uh, earnings per share questions and also if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel please do so now thank you